Why is it that even if aliens could travel faster than light, they still couldn't find Earth? Because, most likely, they wouldn't even know where to begin looking. Imagine you're an advanced alien searching for Earth. Your first challenge, finding our specific universe among billions in a potential multiverse. According to theory, countless other universes may exist, each with different laws of physics. The probability of finding our exact one is virtually zero. But let's say you get lucky. You're in our universe. Now you have to find our location within an almost infinite, rapidly expanding space. Our observable universe is 93 billion light years across, but scientists estimate the entire universe is at least 250 times larger. This tiny observable corner alone contains 2 trillion galaxies and 100 quadrillion star systems. And since everything is moving, there's no fixed GPS. You'd be lost. You'd need a landmark. The largest known structure, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, spans 10 billion light years. It's a great cosmic lighthouse, but it's 10 billion light years away from us. Finding Earth from there is still a needle in a haystack. Luckily, Earth is located in a helpful landmark, the KBC Void. It's a 2 billion light year wide sphere that's mostly empty, with only one tenth the average density of the universe. This cosmic desert helps narrow the search. From there, you must find the Lenia Kea Supercluster, a massive structure of 100,000 galaxies spanning 520 million light years. At the edge of this structure is the Virgo Supercluster, and within that, you must pinpoint our local group, a small cluster of just over 50 galaxies. You'd see two large galaxies spinning around each other. The one that's a barred spiral is our home, the Milky Way. It's 100,000 light years across and contains 400 billion stars. You're still not done. You must navigate to the Orion Arm, find a 300 light year wide local bubble formed by ancient supernovae, and search its 1,000 stars for one specific 4.6 billion year old star, our Sun. Finally, you cross the Oort cloud, navigate the eight planets of our solar system, and find the third planet. That blue sphere, just 12,742 kilometers wide. Only then, after all that, would you have finally found humanity's single, tiny home.